Tom Cruise smile. <laughs> this is Darlene with Real Mini Dot Info. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm back again. Thank you for being patient with me too. I know I haven't did a video in a while. I just had some health issues. But today I'm going to talk about what is a default gateway. Um, you probably, you guys have heard that term and you're probably like, I've heard it somewhere. I don't know what it is in everyday terms, and that's why I'm doing this video, but I've heard it somewhere. So that's why I chose to do this video, because I said this term is going to come up a lot more now because we're adding a lot more devices to the internet. So that's why I chose to do this, because when I looked up the, the, the definition, it was it's so mean, you guys will hear it. So you know how I do it. I get the evil definition first, and then I'm going to get the nice easy one by going to my website and realmeaning.info. But let's get started on the evil one first. The, the word default makes me madder than Miss Piggy, too. You know, <laughs> because you know what default means? Automatic. So why can't they just say that? It just is just, just so evil. It just evil people. So, but anyway, here's, let's get the evil one first. This is what they say the default gateway is. A default gateway serves as an access point or IP router that a network computer uses to send information to a computer in another network or the internet. Default simply means, listen to this, default simply means that this gateway is used by default. Unless an application specifies another gateway. I even had to sort of summarize that a little bit because it went further than Beyonce's hair. <laughs> it just, it just, uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, and that's longer than the Amazon River. <laughs> so let's go to my website, realmeaning.info, or easydefinitions.com, and get the easy definition of what a default gateway is. So let's get started. Definitions.com or realmeaning.info. Alrighty. So here's the real meaning, the real meaning of what a default gateway is. You guys are going to punch your stomach when you hear this. A default gateway is your router's IP address. That's all it is. Let me read that again because I know you guys are like, what? That's all. A default gateway is your router's IP address. That's all they had to say. Everybody can understand that definition that it's easy. It's to the point. I don't care what generation you were born in. I don't care if you were born when Petticoat Junction was on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can understand that. I mean, it's it's it, and and it should be like that. First of all, your router and we use a router in order to so that we use only one internet connection and we can send out the internet one internet connection to more than one device. That's why you have your router. But in order to get on the internet, you need an IP address. Therefore, your router has to have an IP address, and that's what a default gateway is. So that's that's what that is, and. It, like I said, with more and more, the reason why you're going to hear that term now is because everything is being hooked up to the internet. Your TV with streaming boxes like Roku and stuff, uh, your computer, of course, your iPads, your your you know your tablets and whatever you have, even you know uh, your you know iPods if they still have it. I'm not a Mac person, so that you, or whatever. But everything, including your printers, everything is hooked up to the internet now, including appliances. When I stoves and stuff. I'm not into that. I'll do a video on that. But that's that's getting too much now. Your stove, come back, your, you know, your but anyway, so that's what a default gateway is. So, your petticoat junction. <laughs> if I've made you laugh and learn, please subscribe to my channel and please tell others as well. And uh, I'll be making more videos soon. Thank you so much for being patient with me and, and uh, subscribing to my channel. Thank you, subscribers. I love you. Bye-bye.